Hello, boys and girls. Remember Samuel the sheep that I've just read to you? I'm about to show you how to make your own sheep. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to, first of all, take a paper plate that looks like this. You're going to fold it in half like this. Make sure that it's firmly um, folded in half like that. And then we are going to take our scissors, moms and dads. I usually cut um, some paper for the children like this. and I cut them into strips and I do a little incision in each uh, place where I want them to tear so that it's much easier for them at this stage. And we're going to be making some grass on our paper plate. And so they take their pizza pointers and they take their thumbs on both sides and they just tear where the incisions are like that. Okay, children, do you remember that I taught you how to do paper tearing at school? You're going to do this for moms and dads. Okay, and then when I've got a whole bunch of green paper, I'm going to put glue on my paper plate. I've started my green um, paper, sticking my paper on to make the grass. Put glue all over, and then I'd simply take my pieces of green and stick them onto the paper plate so that there aren't any white spaces in between, but it doesn't matter if there are some spaces. And this whole part becomes grass. Once my paper plate has been covered with grass, I am going to cut out a circle for the sheep's head and two legs for the sheep. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the head on the sheep. Now I've used magazine paper here, so you don't need any black cardboard or anything, or you can even just color in your head black. Okay, we're going to put our head on our sheep. Like Then you're going to take your legs and stick them up there like that on the sheep. The other leg. You go there. And then this is my favorite part. You're going to once again Take all your glue, take some more glue and put it on top of this paper. If you don't want to use paper, because it is difficult to stick the glue on now, you can use, you can color in your grass with some, um, with some crayons, or what you can do as well is use some paint and sponge it on to make the grass. That's also a lovely idea. And then I take my cotton wool, so you can see it. I take my cotton wool and I break it into little pieces like this and I start sticking it on to make my sheep. Samuel the sheep. All the way around. There we are. I finished my lovely Samuel the sheep over here. And what I can do now is add a googly eye to make him have an eye over here by his head. But I don't have a googly eye, so I've made a, a little eye out of paper, white, and black paper. Black for the middle of the eye. And the best part about Samuel the sheep is that Samuel the sheep can rock backwards and forwards like that. Okay. Children, I hope you enjoy making your Samuel the sheep and have a wonderful blessed day. I'll see you soon. Bye.